Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can integrate the Excel file with the Cucumber framework. So assume that there is a step inside a feature file which requires multiple set of data. So one straightforward approach is to use the data table concept. But when you have a data which has like 10 columns and 15 row, it is very difficult to maintain them inside a feature file. So in this case, the approach is to store the data inside some external file system and load them during the runtime. So we are going to use the same concept for handling our large amount of data. We will maintain an Excel file in which we will have our all data and by applying the concept of step argument transform, we will load that data and convert it into a data table which can be used inside the step definition file. So first of all, let me create one more feature file and let me call it as Excel data. So there is a utility which I have written called Excel Reader. This will read the data from the Excel file and store them inside a list data structure. For this, I use the concept of Apache PY. So this is the code which I'm going to share at the GitHub so you can use this also. So inside this, I will just modify the feature as Excel Data Reader. I will remove this scenario. this step. So now assume this is the step which required a data which has like 10 columns and 15 rows. So I will just remove this data table from here and here I will specify the location where the data is present. So assume that this is Excel file which has the data which we required in our step. So I'll just specify the location of this Excel file. user login with following username password with data in Excel at this location. So now during the runtime, I will read this Excel file, apply the step argument transform and convert the data which is present inside this Excel file in the form of a data table. And then you can use that data table in your step definition. So our feature file is ready. First of all, we need to generate the step definition for this. So let me create a runner, Excel Reader. I will specify the feature file name inside the runner, as well as change the flag of dry run to true so that it will generate the step definition and run as JUnit. So this is the step definition and for this I will use the login step definition dot java file. So now we need to create a class that will apply the transformation. So under this package I will create one more class called Excel data to data. This class will extend from transformer and the return type is data table as we are going to convert the data which is from the Excel file in the form of a data table. So data table. We need to override the method which is transform. So this will represent the location of your Excel file. So first of all, I will read the data from the Excel file using this utility. So Excel reader, reader equal to new Excel reader dot Excel reader builder. So here I have used the builder pattern to specify the file path as well as the sheet name inside you have the data. So this is the sheet and this is your Excel file. So dot set file location, which will be the value. Let me call it as file path. And dot sheet index is zero. And I will call the build. Okay. Return null for time being. 
So inside this class, there is a method which will read the data. So reader dot get sheet data. And as you can see here, it is going to return us the type as list of list of string. Okay. So here I will use list list of string. Excel data. Okay. It is going to throw us the exception, so I will just put a trackage block. And let me initialize it here. And also I'm going to just change the exception. So in case of any ex exception, I will just throw the runtime exception. So user will know that there is some problem while reading the Excel file. Okay. So now you have all the data inside the list data structure. So here the concept which I applied is it will store all the data in the form of a list of list of string. That means this will be in the form of a list. This will be in the form of a list and combining all the list to form a outer list. So once you have the data, now it is time to convert it into a data table. So just let me open the class for data table. So data table. If I go inside the data table, so you can see here there is a constructor in which we need to specify the list of data table row and the table converter. And if I go inside the data table row, so in this manner, you need to create the instance of data table where you need to specify the comments value in the form of list and the line number. OK, so I'm going to follow the same approach. First, I will create the data table row and then I will supply the list of data table row inside the data table and then return that data table. So as you know that we have multiple rows, so we need to have a list list of data table row. I will call it as data table rows equal to new linked list. So now I'm going to copy the data from this to form a data table row. So what we need here, we need comment. We have already the value of cells in the form of list and in integer value. So here I will create integer value line equal to one. So as there is a list that so we need to iterate in that list. That is the reason we need to have a for loop. So for list of string list in your Excel data. Inside this, I will create the instance variable of data table row, table row equal to new data table row. We need to create a list of comments. So simple I will create a comment here comment equal to new comment so string value I'm going to pass it as empty string and this will be your line which is a variable over here or let me pass the line here So we need to convert this into a list. So there is a method called arrays dot list. And I will supply the comments here. 
well this is just a requirement for creating a data table row that is a reason and cell so this is our list and the line is this after that i will increment the line so once you created a table row you need to add this row inside this list so data table row dot add and the table row okay so when this loop finishes you will have a list of type as data table row which will have the data for every row inside the excel now using that list of data table row you need to create a data table so again for the data table data table you can see inside the constructor we need to pass the list of data table row so which we have and a table converter so for creating a table con con uh, converter i'm using these two lines and uh, again i'm i have taken this from the cucumber api documentation okay so data table table equal to new data table so we have the list of data table rows as this one and the table converter is this and after that you are going to return this table okay so your step argument transformation class is ready which will read the data from the excel file okay then convert them into a list of data table row and using this list of data table row it will create a data table and this data table will be used inside the step definition file for your further processing 